China is making bold moves in the space race with a staggering 6.7 billion yuan project aiming to rival the biggest names in satellite technology. In just the past two years, China has launched over 400 satellites, half of which are designed for precise Earth monitoring. Now, they're set to deploy a constellation of over 12,000 low Earth orbit satellites. The first batch of 18 satellites was launched in early August. China is using the powerful Long March series of rockets to launch these satellites, ensuring precise placement in orbit. Once in place, these satellites will form a dynamic network capable of providing global internet coverage and enhanced surveillance. How will this new satellite network reshape the future of global communications and space dominance? Welcome to a new era of space exploration, where the skies are no longer dominated by a single superpower. China is making bold moves to challenge the status quo, and it's all happening right above our heads. Imagine a sky filled with thousands of satellites, all working together to create a global network of connectivity and surveillance. This is the story of China's leap into the space race. In the past few years, China has launched over 400 satellites, more than half of which are designed to monitor activities on Earth. This isn't just about keeping an eye on things, it's about redefining the rules of engagement in space. With these satellites, China is breaking the monopoly once held by others, proving they can track and target with precision. But why is this so significant? Consider this, satellites are the backbone of modern communication and defense systems. They provide the data that powers everything from GPS navigation to military operations. By expanding its satellite network, China is positioning itself as a formidable player in the global arena. This is no small feat. It's a 6.7 billion yuan, approximately $943 million investment aimed at creating a network that rivals the likes of Starlink. The plan is ambitious launch 108 satellites by the end of 2024, reach 648 by the end of 2025, and achieve global coverage by 2027. By 2030, the full constellation of 15,000 satellites is expected to be operational, transforming the landscape of global communications and surveillance. This isn't just about keeping up with the competition, it's about leading the charge. China's new satellites will bring internet access to remote regions, enhance data security, and provide critical support for both civilian and military applications. It's a game changer in every sense. China's latest satellite project is a feat of engineering and technology. This ambitious endeavor aims to create a constellation of over 12,000 Low Earth Orbit LEO, satellites, whose first set of 18 satellites was already launched on August 5, 2024, marking the beginning of a significant leap in global internet connectivity and surveillance capabilities. Each satellite in this constellation is a technical marvel. Operating in LEO at altitudes between 300 kilometers and 2,000 kilometers, these satellites benefit from reduced latency in data transmission. This low orbit ensures faster internet speeds, crucial for applications like video conferencing, online gaming, and real-time data streaming. The satellites are built using lightweight yet durable materials to withstand the harsh conditions of space, including extreme temperatures and radiation. The deployment process for these satellites involves the Long March series of rockets, with the Long March 6A being a prime candidate due to its capacity for multiple satellites and efficient payload delivery. These rockets are equipped with advanced propulsion systems, ensuring precise orbital insertion. Once in orbit, each satellite uses its onboard propulsion system for fine-tuning its position, creating an evenly spaced network capable of seamless communication. 
The satellites are not just advanced in their design, but also in their operational capabilities. They are equipped with sophisticated communication technologies, enabling them to communicate with each other and ground stations. This inter-satellite communication forms a resilient and dynamic network in the sky that can adapt to changing conditions and maintain service continuity. Ground stations play a crucial role in this network, acting as the link between the satellites and the Internet. These stations are strategically placed worldwide to ensure continuous coverage. Equipped with powerful antennas and advanced tracking systems, they can handle multiple satellite connections simultaneously. This redundancy ensures that even if one station goes offline, the network remains operational. The software managing this constellation is equally impressive. Utilizing advanced algorithms and artificial intelligence, the system coordinates the activities of thousands of satellites. It predicts demand, optimizes data paths, and prevents congestion, ensuring efficient and reliable service. This intelligent management is crucial for handling the complex and dynamic nature of such a large network. Powering these satellites are highly efficient solar panels that convert sunlight into electricity. These panels are designed to be durable, providing a steady power supply even in the harshest conditions of space. During periods when the satellites are in the Earth's shadow, onboard batteries store energy to keep the systems running. This ensures uninterrupted operation and the longevity of the satellites. Thermal management is another critical aspect of satellite design. Space presents extreme temperature variations, from intense heat when exposed to sunlight to cold when in the Earth's shadow. The satellites are equipped with thermal control systems to manage these fluctuations, ensuring that onboard electronics operate within optimal temperature ranges. The communication payloads on these satellites are designed to use various frequencies to ensure reliable communication. Higher frequencies offer higher data rates, but are more susceptible to weather conditions, while lower frequencies provide more robust connections at lower data rates. By using a mix of frequencies, the network balances performance and reliability, catering to diverse user needs. This project is not just about providing global internet coverage, but also about enhancing national security and technological capabilities. The satellites will support various civilian and military applications, from internet access in remote regions to advanced surveillance and reconnaissance. For instance, China has launched more than 400 satellites in the past two years, over half of which are designed for Earth observation. These remote sensing satellites are crucial in monitoring and targeting, significantly enhancing China's strategic capabilities. A notable technological advancement in this project is the use of Synthetic Aperture Radar SAR, payloads. Last year, China launched the world's first GEO satellite with an SAR payload, providing constant coverage and imagery, even through clouds and during nighttime. Imagine you're trying to take a picture of the Earth from space, but there are clouds, or it's nighttime. Traditional cameras, like those in your phone, need light to work, so they can't see through clouds or in the dark. This is where Synthetic Aperture Radar, or SAR, comes in. SAR is like a super camera that doesn't need light to see. Instead of using visible light, it uses radar waves. Radar waves can travel through clouds and work just as well in the dark, giving us a clear picture of the Earth's surface at any time and in any weather. The term synthetic aperture refers to the way the satellite combines multiple radar signals to create a large, high-resolution image, similar to having a giant camera lens. China has taken this technology to the next level by launching the world's first geostationary orbit GEO, satellite with an SAR payload. GEO satellites orbit at the same speed the Earth rotates, so they stay fixed over one spot. This is different from low Earth orbit LEO satellites that circle the Earth multiple times a day. Having an SAR payload on a GEO satellite is a game changer. 
Because the satellite stays over the same area, it provides constant coverage and can continuously monitor what's happening below. This capability is incredibly useful for both civilian and military purposes. For instance, in the event of a natural disaster like a hurricane or flood, SAR can provide real-time images of the affected areas, even if it's cloudy or nighttime. This helps emergency responders quickly assess the situation and decide on the best course of action. The sustainability of this project is also carefully considered. Each satellite is designed to operate for several years. When they reach the end of their operational life, they are equipped with propulsion systems to deorbit safely, burning up in the Earth's atmosphere. This approach helps mitigate the problem of space debris, ensuring clear orbits for future missions. China's commitment to this project is evident in its investments and strategic planning. The project is part of a broader national drive to foster commercial space development and boost innovation. The initiative aims to elevate China's space capabilities and secure its position as a leader in global satellite technology. The commercial space push is supported at multiple levels, from city and provincial initiatives to national policies. For instance, Shanghai has developed a commercial space action plan with goals like building advanced launch vehicles and integrated satellite technologies. This plan aims to create a space information industry worth more than $28.2 billion by 2025. In addition to the G60 Starlink project, China has approved another mega constellation named Guo Wang Satnet aimed at deploying 13,000 satellites. While the first large batch of Guo Wang satellites is yet to be launched, the G60 Starlink project is currently leading the charge, demonstrating China's rapid advancements in satellite technology. To support the massive deployment of these satellites, China is developing new launch capabilities, including reusable rockets. The Shanghai Academy of Spaceflight Technology SAST, recently conducted a 12-kilometer altitude hop test for a reusable launcher, expected to debut next year. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment below with your thoughts or any questions you have. And make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss an update.